My name is Kevin Harrington. I'm team leader at the targeted therapy team at the Institute of Cancer Research. And I'm Victoria Wilson. I also work at the Institute of Cancer Research as a scientist. So the work that we've been doing is with a type of oncolytic virus called Reovirus. This is the respiratory enteric orphan virus. It's a virus that is found in the outside environment, found in river water and in streams and in puddles. Um, it's a virus that can infect human beings, but it doesn't cause a named disease. It's a relatively harmless agent to which 90% of us will have been exposed in our lifetimes. And now it's an agent that we're trying to um, harness as a new treatment for cancer. The, the aim of this study was to assess whether or not this virus could gain access to tumour um, tumor tissues within patients after intravenous administration. So we've been working now for many years with this agent, directing our work around the use of intravenous administration for patients with cancer spread throughout their bodies. And one of the big questions has been whether or not the virus would be destroyed by pre-existing immune responses given the fact that most of us had already been exposed to this virus. So the big questions that we we're asking in this study was could the virus make the journey through the bloodstream to escape uh, the immune system and find its way into tumour tissues selectively and then perhaps to replicate within those tumour tissues and that would give it a chance of giving us a therapeutic response against cancers in patients. So all the patients we tested had uh, pre-existing antibodies against virus, and these went up the treatment um, but nevertheless despite these existing antibodies um, the blood cells that we took from the patient all contained virus and I found this out by incubating the blood samples from the patient on target cells and we observed viral killing which we confirmed with PCR, so looking for the viral RNA. Um, so this shows that the virus is hitchhiking a ride on these blood cells to gain access to the tumour. We think this is a very important and exciting finding. It shows really for the first time uh, in patients, although it has been shown previously by our group and by others, that viruses can ride on blood cells in order to escape immune responses. We've now shown that this happens in patients and importantly one of the key findings of this study was that we were able to recover virus within tumour material taken from patients at operation and to show that there was the virus was in the tumour itself but relatively low levels of virus exposure in any normal surrounding tissues. So really confirming the selective delivery and importantly with other tests that we did showing that the virus was growing and replicating within those tumours which is exactly the way that it would be, it would need to, to act against the body in order to mediate a treatment effect. So this was really very compelling evidence that the virus is able to transit through the bloodstream, gain access to tumour material and do the sorts of things in tumours that would allow us to hope that this would be a, a useful therapy. This gives us really very strong and encouraging data to take this for, forward into further clinical trials. This agent is already in phase 3 clinical trials in patients with head and neck cancer where it's being injected by intravenous administration in combination with two different chemotherapy drugs. But this work that we've we're publishing now really sets a platform for a new generation of clinical trials in which we can look at targeting a range of other tumour types by intravenous administration.